did New Year's Eve destroy my face and my body? Yes, it kind of did. I'm catching a cold. I don't know what's going on, but we're back. We're back, people. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa, and welcome to my first video of 2020. It's crazy, and I am super excited. Got a little cold, but uh, very excited for today's video. The beginning of the year always kicks off award season, and the Golden Globes were just last week. There were a lot of beautiful looks, a lot of inspiration, and I was feeling hella inspired by a lot of them. But honestly, the minute that I saw this picture, Zoe Kravitz, I, I, I died. I literally died and went to heaven. I'm gonna insert the picture, but I loved it. I loved it so much. It just spoke to me. Very clean, very simple. Freckles, everybody. I am obsessed with freckles. If you know me, if you know anything about me, is that I love freckles. So I fell in love with this look and I decided I wanted to recreate it because it just looked very simple, very easy, but it's still red carpet, so... You know, it had to be good, it had to be done, and I am doing that for you guys today. I am recreating Zoe Kravitz's, is that how you say it? Golden Globes makeup look, and if you want to know how to get it, then please make sure to keep watching. We're gonna start off with the eyes. Let me just grab the reference picture. Oh my god, I love Zoe Kravitz. From what you can tell, there's very minimal eye work. It's literally just shadows and some liner, and she has like a overall crease color, which is very warm, and then she has some shimmer on the lid. That's what I'm gonna do right now. For my overall crease color, I'm using the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color in Terra. I feel like this is just such a spot on color, and uh, I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelids, and um, obviously on the crease, because that's where she has the majority of it. And she kind of pulls it out a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. For the lid color, it's, I can't really tell. It's kind of like a warm toned champagne-y color. I'm gonna be using the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in Peach because it's so pretty and again, it is reflective, but it's very subtle. And I think that's what she's going for. She only has it in like the center of her lid. And I don't know if that's because her eyes are open or if they literally just applied it to the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the majority of the product to the center of the lid and then lightly, like very, very lightly, just spread it out to the outer and inner corners of the eye. Not necessarily like applying product there, just blending it out. Okay, so I just amped up the brightness a little bit so you guys can see. That is the shimmer on the lid. I might just apply a little bit more to the center. So for the eyeliner, I can definitely tell that they tightlined her eyes to make the lash line look a little bit more full, so fuller. <laughs> That's an actual word you can use. And they also did like mini wings on her eyes to elongate the eye. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tightline first. I'm using the Too Faced Love Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner, but you can literally use any black and just tightline before I go into the winged liner, I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which I'm going to use on my face later, and I'm just going to run the tiniest bit on the lower lash line just to create a little shadow. It doesn't really look like she's wearing much underneath, but she does have a little bit of warmth. Okay, so now moving on to the wings, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Pro Tip. This is new, got it for Christmas. I am very excited about it. And uh, I'm gonna add the tiniest, tiniest wing. It is going to be a little bit hard because I am not great at doing small wings, but um, from what I can see on her eyes, the wing is a very, very thin and it starts from the middle of her eye. So I'm not gonna go all the way, just start from the middle and then do a tiny, tiny wing. Hopefully, let's try it out. Okay, wings are on. Are they perfect? No, they're not. I'm gonna clean up everything later. You know, they're as good as they're gonna get and they're small. So I tried my best, we did it. So it is time for mascara. She doesn't really have any falsies or anything. It's just her natural lashes. She has very tiny lashes though, and I don't. So all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of the Maybelline Snap Mascara, which is gonna give me a little bit of length, but it's not gonna add a ton of volume because I don't want any volume. I just want my lashes to look kind of wispy like hers do and again I'm just gonna apply mascara to the top lashes 
After applying and smearing mascara all over myself, it is time to move on to the brows. They just filled in her brows like normal, a little bit heavier on the back, a little bit lighter on the front. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill mine in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and uh, just fill in my brows like normal, making them stronger in the back than in the front. To add a little bit of fluffiness and lightness back into the brows, I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Brow Gel in clear, and I'm just going to add a coat of this. Okie dokie, now that the brows are done, we can successfully move on to the face. I'm just going to go remove uh, the mascara smudges off of my eyes, and we'll be right back. For the face, her foundation looked very, very natural. Her face looked even, but not cakey. She even looked like borderline matte. It doesn't really look like she has a lot of shine to her, which is refreshing. Everyone's all about the glow nowadays, so I really, really like this. Very natural, yet covered, and very even skin, very healthy, and of course, with the freckles. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna attempt to. For primer, I'm using my Milk Makeup Blur Stick, and I'm just gonna apply it to everywhere that I have pores to create that canvas and to slightly mattify the face. Now that that's all settled, I'm gonna go in with a Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in Soft Beige. This used to be very, very dark for me when I bought it, but now I'm tanned because I went to the beach for New Year's. So uh, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna... Oh. I'm gonna apply it with an IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection brush all over my face. Again, I don't want it to be super full coverage and this can be built up to a full coverage. So I'm just gonna add the most coverage where I need to and then spread it out everywhere. Awesome! To continue on this matte, fully covered journey, I am going into the Too Faced Born This Way multi Sculpting Concealer in Almond. And I'm just gonna apply this to my under eyes. And again, I'm gonna add enough of this to cover my under eyes, but I don't want it to look overly done. Since she obviously looks very matte, I'm gonna powder my whole skin using the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I always have such a hard time saying that. I have mine in medium, and I really like this because it will mattify my skin, but it won't make it look flat, which is exactly how she looks in the picture. I just hit pan on this. I am not happy about that because this is very expensive. On the cheeks, she's mostly just contoured. She has beautiful cheekbones, so all I see is freaking contour and the slightest bit of blush. No highlighter, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off with my Armani Beauty A Contour. You guys know I love this for contouring, and uh, this is gonna be like my base layer for the contour, and then I'm gonna go on with something on top. And also her contour goes like really far in. So I'm definitely bringing it in a little bit more. I don't usually do that, but I just wanna, you know, be as authentic as possible. Okay, after we're done with that, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is perfect for a contour, especially if you're not gonna be wearing anything else because it'll warm the skin a little bit, but it'll also contour. I'm gonna grab this brush right here. Ideally, you could go with something smaller, but my contour brush is uh, currently drying because I washed it. So I'm gonna go in with this and I'm gonna do the cheekbones, the temples, a little bit around the forehead, and obviously the chin. Once the contour is done and my face still looks nothing like Zoe Kravitz's face, um, we can move on. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blush. It doesn't really look like she's wearing much blush, but I do see a little bit of color there, so perhaps, you never know. I'm gonna go in with a Burt's Bees blush in Toasted Cinnamon, which is very, very neutral yet warm, and I'm literally gonna add the tiniest, tiniest bit of this. The lighting in this video is gonna be all over the place and I know I'm gonna hate myself for it later. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna go in with a layer of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh yeah. Possibly my favorite part of this look is the freckles. I love freckles. I wish I had freckles. And uh, she has beautiful freckles dusted like on her nose bridge and around the cheeks. Also, a few molds are accentuated, and uh, I'm gonna cheat that right now. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Brow Blade, and I'm gonna be using the Ink Stain because this is waterproof, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna start by just accentuating my own molds that I have on my face, and then I'm gonna be adding a few faux freckles. 
And the freckles are mostly in the cheek area and the nose. I'm just gonna start by adding to the nose. I don't know if I'm gonna add any more to the face later. So I'm just gonna see where this takes us. Okay, and once I am done, I added mostly of the freckles to the bridge of the nose, higher up than the actual bridge, just a little bit. I love how that looks, and I added a little bit to the cheeks, but my bone structure isn't the same as hers, so I didn't want to go full out, um, but I really love how it looks. So um, once this is done, the face is complete, I'm just going to spray myself one more time, and then I'm going to move on to the lips. Obviously, the lips are the statement of this look. They're red, they're beautiful, they're very cool tone, which I love, and the shape is slightly imperfect. Obviously, lips aren't perfect, and they didn't try to make hers look perfect, which I really love. So I'm just gonna be adding two products because it kind of looks like it's an ombre. There's something a little darker on the outside, probably the lip liner. So I'm gonna be doing that. For my lip liner, I'm using the Kiko Precision Lip Pencil in 309, and I'm just gonna line my lips overline a little bit because her lips are big and my lips are very tiny and then I'm gonna apply the lipstick on top For the lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this Kat Von D Outlaw Everlasting Look Lip that I've had forever. By forever, I literally mean ages, but it's still good, it doesn't smell bad. So yeah, this is the perfect red. It's not too deep and it's not too warm. And it's also matte, which is perfect because her lipstick is matte as well. My lips are looking hella weird right now, but let's not pay any mind to that. Lips are done, look is done, and uh, it's time to zoom you guys in to show you how this looks up close. This is what the look looks like up close. I, I love it. It's super simple, yet it is very glam, I think. Let me just, um, okay, there we go. It's very glam. I love the eyes. They're so simple, but... I just look awake, dude. I feel so good. The freckles are my favorite thing ever. I wish I could have freckles like this every day of my life. I think it just looks so nice. The skin looks very clean. It, you know, it still looks a little imperfect, but I just love how it looks and the lip just ties everything together. I love it so much. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I hope you do too. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, what do you think of the look? As I already mentioned seven times before, I really dig it. I love it. And I think it is very simple, very chic, very, you know, red carpet, which is weird because it literally took me less than half an hour to create the look. You don't have to do full cut creases and super full coverage makeup. You can do something like this and it still looks very glam. I am obsessed with it. Anyways, you guys, please let me know if you did enjoy it by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other Golden Globes look that you loved, whether it be outfit, makeup, combination, whatever, please let me know because I saw so many, but I wanna know what you guys gravitated toward. Please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you wish to subscribe, you totally should. I do videos like this every single week, easy and real makeup and beauty content. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for tuning in to my first video of the year of the decade. I am very excited to come back. Also, let me know if there is anything you want me to film on this upcoming year. I am very excited to what the future holds. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody. Mwah.